The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. Say that with me. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith is the victory, the Bible says, that overcomes the world. Put those two verses together and you are guaranteed to be victorious in every battle you find yourself in life. Faith starts out before you know how it's going to turn out. If you know the end from the beginning, that's not faith. That's just doing something. Faith does not demand miracles. Faith produces miracles. Great faith is the product of great fights that are won in the arena of life. The Bible talks about little faith and it talks about great faith. How do you get from little faith to great faith? You get from little faith to great faith by fighting this fight and then another one that's greater and then another one that's greater and another one that's greater and they continuously increase in size until you are fighting the giants. That's what it is. Great faith is born on the battlefield of life. Great testimonies are the outcome of great tests. Every stumbling block can become a stepping stone. Every opposition can become an opportunity. Faith is not believing that God can do it. Faith is believing that God will do it and he will do it for you and will do it right now. There are 1,000 ways to please the Lord, but none of them will work without faith. Faith helps you walk fearlessly, run confidently, and live victoriously. God is not moved by your emotions. God is only moved by your faith. I have seen people pray emotionally. Oh God, please, please. God has said here he will do it. All you have to do is get out of the emotional state and get in the faith dimension and say, God, I thank you, you are doing it. I may not see it with my natural eye, but I know it's going to happen. And I'm standing on the faith of the Word of God. It will happen. Make that happen. When you hear the Word of God and you obey it, you go from glory to glory. You grow from first grade to second grade to third grade faith to middle school to high school to graduate school and now you are really fighting big battles. And you're not concerned because you and God have a working relationship. You are bound by your own self-imposed limitations. Go to a self-improvement seminar and you'll hear some enthusiastic leader tell you to read his wonderful book and it will build your confidence. I'm holding in my hand the most powerful confidence builder that's in your house or that's in your mind. This is authored by God the Holy Spirit and it has supernatural power. You hear what I'm saying to you? It has supernatural power. There is faith unlimited in this book. The devil's not afraid of you, but when you start quoting this book, he is terrified of you. You have awesome power in the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus and in the word of Jesus. Read this book and it will take your dull, boring, pity pot, wallflower personality and transform it into a ball of divine fire. This sacred book will cause you to meet men and women and do the impossible thing because faith in God can help you accomplish anything. They conquered giants in the Bible. They walked in and out of the fiery furnace without the smell of smoke upon them. Moses led two million people across the wilderness for 40 years. It rained manna every morning, the cloud by day to cool them off, the fire by night to warm them. Got water gushed out of a rock that fed two million people and their livestock. And the Bible says there was not one sick nor feeble among them for 40 years. And look at it, get this. Their clothes did not wear out for 40 years. Dear God, bring that back. David said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me.
me. That's confidence. This book says the Lord is my high tower. It says God is my shield and my buckler. It says the Lord is your fortress and deliverer. He is your Jehovah Shammah. He is Jehovah Jireh. He's the God who is there. He is the rock of your salvation. He's the one who was and is and evermore shall be. He is the fairest of 10,000. He is wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father. He is the bright and the morning star, the lily of the valley and the rose of Sharon. He is the conqueror of death, hell, and the grave. He is the Lord of glory. He is the light of the world. He is the Lamb of God. He is the Lion of Judah. Give him praise in this house for he's worthy of that praise.